As part of the classical Minnesota Public Radio's Class Notes Artist Program, students get the chance to watch and learn from musicians. At Bugunagashik School, students were lucky to put on quite a show. Haiti Clotter has a story. The sweet sounds of a violin made its way to Bogoneji Shig School as students from all grades watched Galen Lee put on a show. I want to continue to talk about including kids in the arts and people with disabilities in the arts and um, just not making any barriers. Lee, a Duluth native, was born with a brittle bone disease, but that doesn't stop her from doing what she loves. She won a contest out of 6,000 contestants and performs classic and original songs around the country. Little kids and, and older ones, actually, they really do tell you how they feel. And so sometimes it surprises you, their reactions um, to certain songs. I think you have to work hard to make sure you're being present and, and performing in the same way that you would for adults. After listening to Galen sing and play, students treated her to a special drum and dance performance. <laughs> Siblings Camila and Anthony Greyhawk performed a traditional dance from the Ojibwe culture. They represented with the bells on the jingle dress to the grass dance costume. At the end, everyone danced together. When you grass dance, you're beating down the grass that is like really high and like making a circle so the jingle dress and the other people can dance. Students are required to be in music class, but curriculum is part of each visit. The mini concert allows students to be up close and personal with each artist and see how they perform. Minnesota Public Radio goes around the, the state uh, supporting Minnesota artists and bringing them to schools wherever people want us. You can do anything, even if you're small or big or whatever. In this particular session, students walked away with more than just music. In Bina, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Performances will continue throughout the week. Next up, it's Lincoln and Northern Elementary Schools in Bemidji. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.